Guys, welcome back. It's Luis with LJ Customs. Today we are in a 2019 Nissan Sentra base model. This is the four door. Um, this vehicle has three quarter soft dome tweeters in the pillars, in the A pillars. It's got six by nine mids on the bottom. They are internally crossed over. You also have a pair of components in the back, six by nine, in the dash. And then you have the rear doors are also six by nine coaxials. So we are going to go over how to install our T-harness to add a subwoofer. Now the T-harness can also be used uh, to do all six channels in the vehicle, um, or you can do our loop harness, which will allow you to use the factory wiring to amplify the doors. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump to how to set up the uh, T-harness. This one has to be by far one of my favorite vehicles because it's so simple. So in this Nissan, all you're doing is going to be removing the bezel. Uh, this is the, the shiny black bezel. You're going to grab your pry tool. You're going to stick it here on the side or here on the side. Don't do the top because you'll scratch your plastic. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and grab our protective rag. We're going to go ahead and put that over the nice shiny part. And then we're going to go ahead. We already did this, so you guys would just do the same thing. You're going to pry now. There are two hooks, one here and one here. What you're going to do once you have this is you're going to pick it all the way up. And that's going to release the first hook. And then you're going to let it slide out like that. So you guys can see the hook system so you have to pull out the pins go up slide it it gets you this far and then you roll it out and so that comes out so that's out of the way now once you guys are in here you're gonna have four uh phillips screw uh, you're gonna have one in the back one down here one down here and one here we already took those out once that's done do not pull on the head unit it's there's a, there's hooks in the back you're gonna have to push up and then out so that's very important now, what we're going to be focusing on right now is going to be this little harness that's back here. This is going to come out. Um, once you have that out, you're going to grab our T-harness. You're going to get it in a box. Uh, it'll come like this. You're going to have your pack unit. Uh, you're going to have your remote turn on. You're going to have, obviously, your T-harness. And then you're going to have your built-in gain. This is the LP72. This does not have the built-in gain remote. If you want the built-in gain remote, you're going to want the LP72R or the LC2I. So now you're gonna hook that up. Now this, for the sake of the video, we're gonna shove it back here. We're gonna go ahead and grab our RCAs that are hooked up to our uh, our RTA unit. That's because we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the uh, bass frequencies playing. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. Now you can see that the light is off, the driver door is on. Uh, this will turn off about 10 minutes after the uh, vehicle is closed or if the vehicle's been dormant for a long time with the door open. Uh, it will also uh, turn off by itself. So we're going to go ahead and grab the other side of our T-harness here. And we're going to plug that in. So that's all ready and good to go. Our remote wire. Now the standard length for the remote wire is a foot. Um, so that will already come included. It'll be pre-terminated. If you guys choose the amp extension cable, that'll come with the female coupler. It'll just wire into this. You can get it in 5, 10, or 20 foot lengths. Uh, that's just a convenience for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and try to hide most of this stuff here without pinching anything, just like that. We're gonna leave it there. All right, awesome, so that'll actually tuck all the way to the back. Cool, so this is the first time we tested out. Uh, we came out here, we tested the harness, we built it, uh, but this is the first time that we actually plug it in and test it out all the way. So we're gonna go ahead and grab, uh, turn the car on, get our uh, DSP, DT, so here we go. So here's the uh, DMRTA. This is the what it looks like uh, when it's all hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play uh, 45 hertz track right now through it, so you guys can see what's coming out of the uh, the pack unit. So the pack unit's coming in. It's going into the balanced line, the unbalanced line input. So this is a low level input. This would be a high level input, um, and then it's gonna process it over to the computer. Now you also have the ability to download the DM Smart uh, DMRTA app on your phone. And you can actually hook up a Bluetooth module to it and it'll stream right to your phone. I like to use my uh, my laptop because that way I can actually store the files and record. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and leave it on high output. This radio distorts after 31. So we're gonna go ahead and put it at 31. We found that it distorts. We're gonna go ahead and grab our other phone, which is hooked up through the aux. And we're gonna go ahead and Okay, so we have it at 32, we have it at 31. So we're gonna leave it at 31, 
and then we're going to go ahead and focus here so what we're looking for are these lower frequencies anything from 25 to about 160 is ideal for a low bass uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the balanced line play so now we're hitting play you can see here um, that obviously we're getting those low 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 bass frequencies um, but you can see here that you're getting awesome bass. I mean you're getting everything down from 25 Hertz all the way through so you're getting exactly what you would be wanting to get um, for adding a subwoofer and it's that easy um, so here is your battery this is gonna be on the driver's side of the vehicle um, this is your air intake filter um, obviously as you can see it to get the battery uh, wire in there's a wire harness right there you can see the wire harness now to get in there you're gonna have to remove the filter compartment um, so you're gonna want to take this plastic intake you're gonna want to take that off that's pretty much just on there by pressure you clip this and it kind of just comes out um, as far as these you can just do these hose clamps you're gonna do this one or that one uh, and then you want to pull this out there's gonna be uh, one Phillips and then there's another Phillips back here and then you're gonna want to undo this wire retention so there it is you can see the Phillips right there um, so once you have those removed, you're pretty much good to go. Um, it's a nice square. It's probably about that big. I mean, it's, it's relatively big. It's about three inches by three inches, and it just goes right into the right into the kick panel right behind the car. So this is probably one of the easiest, considering that you don't have to do anything crazy to reach back there. You just got to take some stuff apart, and really, you just need one tool for this entire vehicle, which is a Phillips, um, and I guess a second tool for the flathead. Um, so it's a very simple install. Now, like I said, if you guys are looking for this, we do have harness for the Nissans from 07 all the way up to 2020. Um, we're currently working on getting more videos out. Um, so if you guys have any questions or have any comments or are looking to get some done, give us a call at 602-320-7004 or send us an email to sales at lljcustoms.com um, or visit our website. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram if you guys want. Um, if you didn't like the video, make sure you uh, give it a thumbs down. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. It lets us know which way to pursue as far as our videos go. Other than that, thank you guys and have a good day.